I've always wanted a black lipstick and I never had one so super excited for this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Happy Halloween, my goodness, I can't believe it's Halloween this week already. So I've got some cool Halloween makeup to try out from Makeup Revolution. So let's go ahead and have a little chat and try out some makeup. <laughs> I'm just freshening up my face with some Make It Rain and it's raining cats and dogs outside, like literally, you might be able to hear it on camera, I don't know, but it's absolutely pouring it down. Guys, I've really missed you all, like literally, I had so much planned for October, like Halloween stories and, you know, like more ghost stories and things, but I have literally been cooped up in bed for the last 10 days with that thing that's a bit like the ice cold beer. So the whole family's been at home, Johnny's working from home downstairs and I finally left my bed this morning to come sit on it and film a makeup look. So yeah, I've really missed you all. Whenever I don't have a video to upload on a Tuesday, like I really hate it. Like I find it so painful. So yeah, I was really sad last Tuesday and of course yesterday when I didn't have a video to upload as well. I'm so glad to be back again and filming. I will leave everything I use a link down below. So I've got some really really cool Halloween products to try. Oh gosh, I haven't primed my face. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. It's Halloween, so I guess like I don't have to look <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you can end up looking a bit more spectacular if your makeup's not perfect. Anyway, so we're going with it. It'll be absolutely fine. Guys, I hope you have all been doing well. It's so nice today. Like I did the school run for the first time this morning and filming again for the first time in like a couple of weeks so it just feels amazing. I'm still not 100% over it. I still feel a little bit groggy and I was just absolutely exhausted for like literally all the time that I was staying at home. I felt absolutely exhausted. I was in bed and I had a fever for literally like a week. So yeah, I'm just so glad to be up and about. Even if I just left the house once today, then you know, that's enough. I'm so Right here I'm chatting with you guys you know as long as they're all healthy that is all that matters I could have probably done with doing a primer because I'm not gonna lie being ill in bed for like over a week I was only doing my skincare like once a day because I literally just slept all day and so it was like the evening <laughs> before like getting back in bed to sleep for the night but I was doing my skincare so yeah I could have probably done with using a primer today but I'm not gonna wash it all off just to start again. I just dyed my hair the other week and I thought oh sod it I'm gonna cut it so I cut my own hair again and it ended up quite well. I left it really blunt this time. I first did it last year. If you want to see next year <laughs> When I cut my hair next year, if you want to see it, I will film it for you guys and upload it because it was so easy how I did it, but I guess you've got to have long hair like me to be able to do it the way I do it. Can't wait till I see my friend Adam because he normally cuts my hair. I say normally, he's cut it once and then <laughs> lockdown happened and I started cutting my own hair. But I can't wait to see him and see what he actually thinks of it. Probably going to be absolutely horrified, but you know. I'm happy with it and I think that's all that matters, isn't it? So I'm just using the Make It Rain Mist again and the Beauty Bay Brow Soap to do my brows. I'm absolutely loving this. I've been using it ever since I got it and I just, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's just so quick and easy. I just feel like it's anyone's brow best friend for anyone who's like me. It's not like amazing at doing brows. I may not have primed my face, but I am going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. Anyone else blown away with the Adele song that came out on Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Before the vocals even came in, with those first few piano keys, I was just like, oh my goodness, I was already in love with the song. It's so powerful and beautiful. I was watching Adele's live on Instagram, bless her. This is the reason why I haven't gone live on Instagram yet. I think I did one live once I think but yeah I'd be like Adele like literally comment down below if you saw it like literally bless her she's so down to work she just didn't know what to do with any of the buttons and that would be me as well like I literally would not know how to do anything <laughs> and it was just hilarious it was brilliant but oh god she's got a heart of gold love it a bit 
I would have no clue what to do on Instagram. <laughs> oh my goodness, one of the creators that I absolutely love to watch, Josie, Fashion Mumbler. Watching her vlog last night, she said, did you see a reel on my Instagram? It's a competition. I was like, yeah, I did see that. Instagram thing but I had no idea how to I tried for about half an hour to share her reel in my stories and I just couldn't do it so <laughs> I was like googling how to do it and it said when you go to share it'll come up in your settings that you know share to story but that option just didn't come up or just like all my contacts on Instagram came up instead so I was just like I couldn't figure that one out so yeah I'm totally and utterly hopeless with Instagram so I definitely I know where Adele's coming from where she when she couldn't you know she just didn't know what to do with it <laughs> I wouldn't know either I'm sure there's like there's all these like help books for everything isn't there there's gonna be a YouTube video out there that shows you how to do everything on Instagram isn't there you just have to YouTube it and see how it all works got this cute little Maggie palette which is from The Simpsons from Makeup Revolution and it's part of the Treehouse of Horrors collection that they're doing at the moment. There's a huge palette which you could get but I just decided I've got so many palettes recently. I like the colours in this palette and I thought they were quite autumnal and festive as well. Like I thought you could get some really nice festive eye looks in there with the red and the green and the gold and the nice champagne highlighter colour. And of course we've got these nice deep colours and the warm colours here as well so I thought the perfect little palette for autumn. So I'm going to try and create something a little bit spooky from this palette but I don't know yet what spooky eye look I'm going to come up with. I think I'm just going to do like just Halloween-esque because I've got this really cool. Look at that, how amazing is that? That is like the highlighter and I mean oh, Freya said to me oh you're just going to keep the bottle when it's empty aren't you? I was like yeah. <laughs> That is epic. So this is like a black highlighter. My goodness, we're not even at the highlight stage yet, but I don't know how it's going to blend over the makeup. I've not actually seen anyone use it yet either. Like I've not, I've not come across it on Instagram or anything other than just showing the bottle. So I'm really intrigued how this is going to go. Ooh. Oh, that is really nice. Right, I'm gonna have to think what I'm gonna do now because that is pretty cool. See, that would be really good for a skull look, I think, but I did a skull look last year. I also did vampire last year as well. I will leave those videos linked down below. They were like makeup challenges that my regional manager set me when I was with the body shop at home. Let's see, I've also got this really cool lipstick as well. So yeah, I'm really excited to try it all. I've always wanted a black lipstick and I never had one, so I'm super excited for this. Right, I'm gonna go for this dark colour here. Oh, that is a really nice, kind of deep, aubergine purpley brown colour. I really like that. Oh my god, I just realised that colour up there is called a seance and I'm now going to go into Crypt Keeper. Take what you will from this, but me and my nana used to always have like little seances at home. Ever since I was about 10 or 11, my nana always saw ghosts. Me at this point, I hadn't seen any ghosts, but of course, if you watch my videos, my ghost stories, I'll leave a couple of them linked down below. You will know that I have since seen ghosts. Me and my nana used to cut up letters and then we would arrange them like a Ouija board. Now I'm not advocating Ouija boards or anything like that. You know, they can be really scary things and you know, just, I mean, live your own life. You do you, but yeah, I'm not advocating it. And I guess I have to put a warning there as well. My Nana used to do Ouija boards with her friends when she was young. So we were writing out letters on a piece of paper and then we'd be cutting the letters out and we'd stick them all around in a circle on a table. I'm going to take some of the red which is head of vampire. So all the letters would be around in a circle. Get a glass on this shiny like wooden table and sit there with a finger on it and then we just start asking questions and then the glass would move. Now some of you might be thinking yeah but you know your nana or yourself must have been pushing this glass around. Wear down that neither me and my nana were pushing the glass. They would ask all these questions I remember once doing it 
We did it once at Manana's house and then we did it once in the house that I lived at where I told you about that ghost story about the woman. I think my mum came home from work so we quickly like got rid of the evidence. <laughs> It was so naughty, like literally, like I was so good as an adult, like <laughs> don't have my nana as a bad influence anymore. Quite a few years later, my goodness, I was definitely in my 20s. Right, I'm gonna go for a bit of the gold, which is a paranormal. There was definitely paranormal activity going on when we did the Ouija boards later in life. I love how there's a the little embossed Maggie's in there as well with a dummy, that is so cool. When I was in my 20s, we started asking, is anybody there? And the glass had moved to yes. And we're like, what is your name? And it ended up spelling out my granddad's name. So this was the granddad on my dad's side of the family. Now my dad's dad sadly passed away when I was four and I never got to meet him. We were all gonna meet up, he sadly passed away. I never ever got to meet him as a kid. So yeah, my granddad came through and we had a conversation and I was in tears and everything because my granddad came through, like I just knew it was him, like his name was spelled out, I just had this feeling and I could actually feel him near me and I could feel him give me a hug, I could feel his hand on mine on the glass and everything. Take from this what you will, I'm just saying what happened. You know, we're like having this conversation and then lo and behold, my other granddad comes through. Now this granddad, I did meet, but he left my nana when my mum was a baby and I only met him twice. Yeah, he basically ran off with all my nana's money to another country and made himself very, very wealthy and ended up owning like 15 hotels or something. This was kind of like awkward, but my nana was kind of like you know zoning out a little bit and chilling we're all different aren't we we're all different we all believe in different things i believe in ghosts because i've seen ghosts i believe in the ouija board because i've done it and it works i mean i've done loads of psychic development things where i've spoken spirit through many different mediums it got to the point doing the ouija board where every man and his dog was like oh can i join in can we join in can we join in my nana told my mom she told my cousin and my mom was telling someone at work and then everyone wanted to do the Ouija boards all the time. So I'd done it about three or four times after that and it got to the point where my granddad said, enough's enough, you've got to stop this now. So I never did it ever again, ever since then. I'll tell you better ways to communicate with spirit and stuff is a few years later, I started going to psychic development classes. So I learned to read the tarot cards and ribbon reading as well, which I've done on a few friends. I've done tarot on friends. And I always get messages for them and I truly believe in it because I can hear spirit talking to me, I can see things, I just have a sense of knowing about things so there are other ways other than the Ouija board which can be quite a... I mean there's lots of like films about it and stuff isn't there how you know Ouija boards are scary, I mean it's a little film called Ouija board itself. They definitely are a way of speaking to the world of spirit but I just feel there's better ways of doing it. Now, whenever I do the tarot or readings or anything like that, I always do protect myself. So I'll ground myself, I'll envisage roots coming from my feet down into a big protected crystal like the amethyst crystal. I feel that energy flowing through me. I'll get a protective bubble around me and around the person that I'm reading for. You know, I'll ask for it to be out of love and the highest good and all that kind of stuff. So I think the thing with Ouija boards is that you don't know what you get in. I think once you know more about the spirit world and things and you just ground yourself, you protect yourself, you get a protective bubble, you ask for messages to come through from the highest good and you know ask for help from your spirit guides and stuff. That's a whole nother thing. You're all gonna think I'm crazy now aren't you but you know I don't this is me and I don't care. This is this is me and this is my life and dun, 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 dun. Did anyone watch This Is Your Life when you were a kid? Like literally. It was like prime time TV one night of the week, wasn't it? And some celebrity had come on and the host would have like this big red book and just go through this book about their life story. It was brilliant. Like I was too young to appreciate it at the time, but I think if I'd have watched it as an adult, I'd have absolutely loved it. Nice champagne colour here to highlight the brow bone. Thank <laughs> you. 
for blush, I'm gonna take some of Diamond in the Rough from the Aladdin palette. Keep it quite high near the eye area. This one goes quite well with the eye look. Go around the eye area. I absolutely love this palette. It was the last video I filmed actually, so I'll leave it linked down below if you've not seen it. Yeah, I really enjoyed using that palette and making that video. I feel like today's video has been a bit of um, gobbledygook verbal diarrhea because <laughs> I hadn't really planned it out. I was just excited to feel well enough to come and sit down and film a Halloween video. I hadn't got an idea for a look and I hadn't even thought about what to talk about either so literally I just I hope it all makes sense these days I just kind of meditate instead to get answers this brush is from the Joker collection from Makeup Revolution it's the first blush brush that I've ever used from Makeup Revolution I would imagine that quite a lot of their blush brushes would be similar if this collection is no longer available but yeah it just really lightly picks up powders and blushes and deposits really nice buildable way some blusher brushes can be a lot denser and pick up a lot more product Gosh, it is absolutely beautiful it's like a midnight sky oh my goodness that is gorgeous that is absolutely stunning I just don't know what it's gonna end up going like on the face I'm like I don't want to ruin my look Oh my God. Yeah, that is... I don't know how we can make this <laughs> into a look. But definitely, if you're doing a skull look, or oh, you want it to look a little bit... kind of dead, and that is... Fantabulous. I'm just going to dab it out quite a lot because I want it to be quite subtle. Oh, see, now it's subtle. It's really nice. Ooh. I mean, still, it's good. I am liking it. Definitely for Halloween, I'm liking it. I think it would work well as part of the eye look or like I say under a skull look or something like that. But now I've blended it in. It does look really nice. It's just kind of highlighted. I just worry that quite there's quite some black bits in my creases, but then I didn't prime. But yeah, that's the only thing. But I guess I just look old and wrinkly and like an old witch or something, I guess. <laughs> Should I put a bit down the nose or not? Or is that going to spoil it? Should we just go for it? God, it's Halloween. What else am I going to um, do this? Well, you know, whatever we're going with it, we're going with it, we're going with it, we're going with it, we're gone with it, we've gone with it, it is what it is, it is what it is. <laughs> My goodness. It's definitely spectacular. It's I think it would be good maybe on the eyes and I think definitely it's good for Halloween looks. I mean it's not awful. I just look like I got all glammed up and then I've swept a chimney. But apart from that, <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna add a bit of foundation to the nose just so it doesn't look like when Santa got stuck up the chimney. I will use some of the Aladdin highlighter that I didn't get to use in last week's, well, last week's video because I've been ill, but the last video. And I'll use that down the nose. And on the cupid's bow. Now I want to add some star details because, you know, it's Halloween. I 
uh, just added some stars with the star stamp liner from the body shop not sure if you can still get these I will leave it linked down below if you can it has the star stamp that I've used on here on one end and then it is a normal eyeliner felt it liner on the other end so use that to draw the crescent moon so this lipstick now I've not got a black lip liner so I might use a eyeliner so this is called midnight midnight at the oasis oh gosh can't get it out can't get it out can't get it can't get it can't get it Woo! oh wow that looks fantastic oh my goodness <gasps> I love it, I love it, I love it. And I believe that this is an actual ring as well. Like, in, it's an adjustable ring. <gasps> There's a skull on the actual lipstick as well. I don't know how well you can see that. It is a skull, but that is so cool. Oh my goodness, we have a ring. <gasps> love that. I did want to paint my nails before filming, and I say this to myself all the time. Oh, before I make that video, I'll paint my nails. Do I ever? No, I painted my nails once when I was doing the advent calendar unboxing last year, and that is, I'm just so terrible for it. I have all these high hopes of doing my nails, maybe even getting a gel manicure killer kit, but yeah, I'm just hopeless at it. So, shall I line my lips with this? Now, this, I'm not that. Mind you, I did line my lips with that when I did my vampire video last year. I should line my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I did use this on my eyes to do the eyeliner on my eyes. I think I will use it just to line the lips. Oh, I love a black lip. I can't believe I've never had a black lipstick because it's totally my vibe. I've ordered a really nice wine coloured lip gloss from Makeup Revolution as well. Oh, that is so cool. I feel like I might have been better not lining my lips first. It's like really creamy. We're like really highly pigmented as well. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm living for this look. I love it. I'll show you the lipstick on the back of my hand. That is how creamy it is and how pigmented it is. It's just amazing. Just wanted to show you that because I know I did have the eyeliner underneath. Absolutely loving this. My goodness. And oh, I've got a Halloween ring now. Oh, oh it reminds me of those, um, you know, the buns that you get from Greg's. <laughs> The kids always want one at Halloween and they've got the little ring in it, a monster ring or whatever, in the bun and it's all like you get it out and it's all like covered in ice and then go stick it on the fingers and I guess suck all the ice enough. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, but I'm absolutely loving this look. Like, oh my goodness. So living for the black lipstick this is my halloween look and i'm absolutely living for it i absolutely love it i'm just so glad that it all came together because i didn't even know what i was gonna end up looking like at the end of this video all i knew was that i got some halloween makeup and i wanted to use it but i just wanted to do something a bit different something i've not done before and something that's like not all over instagram so i'm absolutely loving this i think it's a really simple easy look that anyone can achieve as well especially if you can find an eyeliner with the star stamp on it then that is just so easy to do it's easy to just do an eye look pop on some black lipstick and stamp away with a star stamp the black lipstick is amazing the only thing is I wish it was a little bit neat but that is definitely me with the eyeliner lining the lip I love the eye palette itself I love that it's so cute this was £10 and I love that it's got all the little embossed bart on there and then the Lisa and the Maggie as well. But it's a really nice selection of colours for the autumn. There was a huge palette, like I say, there was a few different palettes. There was a massive palette, it was about £20. It had lots of really bright Simpson-esque colours in there. That 
was really nice but I just wanted this one because it was smaller more autumnal in colours and yeah I just thought it'd go well for autumn and Christmas as well this palette so yeah I'm really happy with it that black highlighter as well I mean aesthetically just to sit on your vanity is just absolutely incredible it's so sparkly and midnight blue it's so gothic and fantastic I just absolutely love that that's just gonna sit proudly on my Halloween display it does take a little bit of blending in but as you saw it ends up looking just like normal highlighter but you could definitely not blend it in as much and get more of a tone for Halloween looks I think it's really good pigment I love the fact that it does blend out if you really work on it with a sponge and your finger but I also love that it is deep enough to kind of give a really nice dark shimmer if you want to go for like a skull look or something like that where you want a bit of shading and a bit of sparkle as well I think it's absolutely fantastic I've loved coming back and making a video again it makes me so happy to be out of bed and filming again I can't wait to edit it as well hope you have an absolutely fantastic Halloween I'll leave everything I use today linked down below in the description and yeah I'll see you all next Tuesday have a spooktastic week guys bye oh shit just got my hair in my foundation there's a reason why I have my hair tied up usually in my videos but yeah today I've just got my hair in my foundation which is the treehouse of Cotlala Blimey it. So I've got this cute little palette from the treehouse collection oh. Happy Halloween <laughs> I was going to say this is what happens when I haven't filmed for a couple of weeks but literally I'm always tongue tied aren't I? So this is a cute little palette that I've got, it's a Maggie palette, it's a simple Happy Halloween! <laughs> so I've got some of the treehouse, so I've, oh. so I've got the Maggie palette from the treehouse of horror, so oh. Happy Halloween! Oh, it, I think it fell off, didn't it? What happened? What happened?